everyone. We're coming back at uh, Reddit. We're going to answer some questions and try to help some people out. I've already jumped into it a little bit, but I definitely did not have any technical difficulties relating to my mic being mute and I need to go back over things I've already done. So don't even imagine that that happened because it definitely didn't happen. Um, what we're going to do is go through Ask Reddit and then we're going to switch over to change my view at some point. And we're just going to try to answer questions and change views and try to be as helpful as we can. The only stipulation I'm putting on this is I'm not going to answer questions that I don't feel like I could actually give an answer to. Like there was one earlier, um, hey, if you're a teacher, what was the weirdest thing you've ever had to grab out of a student's hand? Like, I'm not a teacher. I can't really answer that. And then if I don't understand the question or it relates to something that's way out of my, my views or my ability to answer, then we're just not going to do it. So just to recap the ones that I've already done, <laughs> let's go back through here. Um, do -do 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 -do. What experience or event changed your life forever? And I said sitting down and actually working on my stream avatar since it was the first step that pushed me towards getting fully invested in streaming. Uh, oh, I forgot to put my little thing here. I'm trying to make a, a way for people to link to my stream. Uh, what is the kindest thing a stranger has ever done for you or given to you? Sat in my zero viewer streams to keep me company. Thanks, Luis. <laughs> There's your shout out. I knew you would be showing up soon. <laughs> What's your favorite candies? And I said, those little strawberry candies with the chewy center that have the wrapper that also looks like a strawberry. It's like the best flavor of artificial strawberry that I've had. Uh, if you could combine two superheroes abilities, who would they be? And I wasn't exactly sure on what the question was since it says who they would be. And I thought, you know, do you mean who would be the person that is com a combination of the two or just the two I would combine? And I said, I like telekinesis and also shape shifting. So probably something like Jean Grey plus Mystique, which is a nice combo since they're from the same series. If I had this to name this character, it would be Mockingbird. And hopefully there's a, not a mutant character already named Mockingbird because then somebody is going to wag their finger at me and tell me about it. Ask Reddit, what is the question that defines the subreddit? And I said the question that is asked. <laughs> because obviously that's a stupid question, so we'll give them a stupid answer. And then if you are a Redditor slash influencer, how would you influence? And I said I would stream myself answering questions on the subreddit to try to help people out and then link to my stream. Now we've already got one response, but let's let those pile up and then we'll go back to them before we head to the next subreddit. So let's hit new and start diving into this. What are some of the most useful computer skills anyone can de develop? Um, I would say having a grasp on a lot of the, uh, what is it, like the Microsoft suite of office apps, knowing how to use Word, Excel. Um, I would have normally said PowerPoint a long time ago, but we're kind of beyond that, aren't we? <laughs> uh, Word, Excel, and uh, oh, what is it called? Outlook. Outlook are essential for anyone that needs to do anything on a computer. Outside of that, excuse me, I'm gonna cough. Excuse me, outside of that, I would suggest people look into hotkeys for a lot of basic functionality for their operating system and web browser because that helps out a lot in day-to-day -day usage. There we go. No, I'm just gonna copy one space there. There we go. Fun fact about artificial fruit flavors and the reason that artificial bananas don't taste like actual bananas. Go on. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you do that. How does every cheer team win nationals? 
I don't know. What's the best rap lyric you've heard? I, I don't think I want to post that because it's definitely um, the iDubs dissing on rice gum. Um, like, there's so many lines in that that I thought were some of the hardest hitting things. <laughs> but, like, that very opening line, and if you've heard it, you know what I'm talking about, is pretty messed up, but hilarious and, and great. But I, I'm not going to answer that because I would have to be dishonest, and I don't want to put that into words. <laughs> what thing might one day save your life? Um, there's so many things. Okay, what were you saying? Banana candy pudding flavor is based off the gross mickle variety of bananas, which was the main type of banana eaten up until midway through the 20th century. Then they were wiped up by Panama disease, and the strain we get today was a strain that was specifically designed to be resistant to it, but it tastes different. Wow! That's really cool. I didn't know about that. I wish there was a place we could do that. Oh, okay, so this was deleted. We won't worry about that then. Repairmen of Reddit. I'm not a repairman. What would it look like if it was easy for males to get laid as it is for females and gay males? Uh. <laughs> what is it like being a teacher? Can't answer that. What is your favorite non-sexual thing you do for your significant other? Can't really answer that either. What has been worthy of a repost? Um... Yeah, I feel like this person's on it, but what has been worthy of a repost? Um, there was like, uh, any time a person slash entity with a large amount of wealth tries to get something quotations removed from the internet <laughs> and people keep reposting it due to Streisand effect. Uh, let's also make a hyperlink to the Streisand effect. Uh, rip posting? Reposing? No, reposting is a word. We're adding it to the dictionary. Uh, Streisand effect. Is it a Know Your Meme or is it an actual Wikipedia page? Okay. We'll copy that and make a hyperlink to it. Doop, 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 doop. And that just messed up my ability to do my signature at the end. So uh, let's do that. We'll grab it again. <laughs> Edit. Thank you. Save that. There we go. People that fetishize other people and think it's okay. Why? Um, what do you mean by that? Is it really a fetish if you like a specific type of person? I'm talking about people who fetishize someone to the point of turning them into an object or stripping them of all identity, except for the part the fetishize about them. I, well, I don't really fit into this category, so I can't answer, but I feel like this says a lot about the person. I don't, I don't, eh, it's a bad question. We'll just move on from that. You know what? I'm, I'm going to give that a downvote just because it's so poorly worded that I don't even know how to address it. I miss the days when rich people families flexed on each other by building public libraries, concert halls, and public parks instead of going to the moon. Yeah, you know, that'd be great if people used their exceptional amounts of social weight to swing that in favor of their communities. But um, there's a lot of social factors that go into that, I would imagine. Like, if it was back in the day before the internet and everybody had phones and stuff like that, if you wanted to get a lot of renown, you would probably get it from your local community. Uh, people would know you there and they would like respect you and cheer for you. The only people that were probably known on an, a national or international level were like actors and actresses and movies that get shown around the world and maybe politicians. But just like a rich guy, 
um, that lives in your town, if he wanted to really, like, get his, uh, I was going to say, like, get stroked or whatever you want to word it as, um, you know, he would build a library or do something for everyone to remember him so he could put his name on it and have people know it was him. But now, if you want to get known, you can't just build a, a local library. Only people that are going to know about that are the local people. So, pfft, when you're talking about people that want to get millions of followers on Twitter, what you need to do is rent out an expensive car and make a video in it and maybe pay someone on Fiverr to write a song for you and then someone else to write a script and then, hey, look, you're now an influencer with 100,000 followers because you blew your money to get people to like you. There's a lot of, it's not just rich people not wanting to do that anymore. It's a society that's rewarding that kind of behavior over top of the ones that are altruistic. Because that's not to say there aren't altruistic rich people, you just don't hear them as much, which is kind of the problem. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a symbiotic problem between those that are desperate for attention and those who are willing to give it to them for all the wrong reasons. What would you write in a fortune cookie and give to someone? Uh, I would say, hey cutie. Some people just want a compliment. <laughs> That's why. If you can master one skill in a second, what would it be? Ooh. Ooh. That's a good question. We're gonna updo that before we even come in there. Poetry? Yeah? Um... I would say that, and this is purely for self-benefit because obviously um, there's a reason why I would say this, but being able to create digital artwork. I do all right in physical media or mediums, but I really struggle with drawing in a digital format. Let alone a lot of design principles and stuff. <laughs> we'll save that. I mean, realistically, stock trading, wish fulfillment, casting real ass magic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would also be nice knowing how to manipulate your money to make it work for you better. Uh, wish fulfillment casting real ass magic. You know, there's probably a way to do something like that in your universe. Um, there's probably some way to do something similar to magic. You guys do a lot with your technology, so you could probably replicate a lot of magical stuff. It's just going to take maybe a thousand years or so to get your technology to that level. I mean, look how much you've grown from like 1950s to 2020. That's 70 years going from computers the size of like a factory that can basically add numbers to now having cell phones in your pocket that can communicate with the entire rest of the world, take pictures, videos, stream yourself, uh, play video games, all of that stuff. So I, I imagine with another hundred years of computer technology, you're going to be doing some pretty magnificent things. And then, uh, you know, add 900 years on top of it, it'll basically be magic. If you were told to make up one fact about the human body that sounds true but isn't, what fact would you come up with? Probably that, like, sneezing and coughing. Oh, oh. But also, with magic, I could be that adult that the kid in the small town who's struggling meets, the man changes their life for the better, and then the next day the man is gone. Ooh. And the house has been abandoned for 60 years. Oh, that's like some time manipulation, some time space. You would just come off as a witch, though. They'd burn you. <laughs> like, oh, 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 look, 
the heathens have been prosperous for so long that they've brought back witchcraft into this world. Burn them! <laughs> Another problem with you humans, though. You gotta work on that. <laughs> the average adult body contains over three pounds of DNA. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pia sword and balls. Um, what would I say? There is a vestigial a bird brain at the base of no that's that's too much that's that's too much we're going a little bit too much here um how about everyone is actually their own siamese twin where each part of your body is another part of one of your identical twins. I don't think Siamese is the correct word, so I'll say slash conjoined, but that way people know what I'm talking about. That's a good made-up fact. We made that up pretty easily. And, you know, it makes a little bit of sense, even though it's most likely, like, 99.9 .9 repeating not true. Where were you March 11th, 2020? Um, in another dimension? Uh, let's not answer that one. Uh, I'm gonna update that one, too. We have all done things in the past that we regret, and we would all like to warn the us of the past not to do them. What if there was a us in the future who would like to warn us not to do a terrible thing? That'd be cool. Like, what do you want me to answer here? <laughs> What's the longest you had to wait for something and was it worth it? Uh, uh, <laughs> for Silk Song to come out. <laughs> I don't know. It's not out yet. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> Have you been to Brazil? Nope. If you could make one improvement to the human body, what would it be? Uh, tails. You guys need tails or wings? Uh... Tails or wings. You guys could really use one or the other. Oh, well, let's just say tails because, you know, for your wings to work without magic would be awful. Uh, tails. Uh, <laughs> that way there's another appendage to use for stuff. Uh, what's, what's it called when they can manipulate things? I, pre, it's like prehensile tails? Is prehensile what's used for manipulating? Prehensile tail? Help me out, internet. Oh, it is that! Okay, prehensile. I even spelled it right! Oh, no, no. It's an E. Prehensile. Okay, we were close. Prehensile tails. Nice. <clears throat> Titanfall 3. Weeps. Knees. Why do they not like being used for their intended purpose? <laughs> uh, true. But Titanfall 3. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, wait a second. I missed something you said. Spines actually don't have specific orientation. So some people vertebrae curve in at the bottom, leading to slouching, and other people's curve in at the top, looking like good posture. Yeah, you know what? That's almost believable, too. I like that one, Luis. <laughs> what is the manliest name you can come up with? Oh, look. There's eight responses. I'm going to guarantee you there's at least Chad in four of them. 
Yep. Chadwick, Chatterson, Mandingo, Dirk Rickard, Gaston, Dick Diesel, Max Luger, Knuckles Lightning Shaft, Armand Papadopoulos, Guy Manley, and Dick Steele. Um, wow. Yeah, I really, I can't top any of those. I'm just gonna updo this one and this one, because Chad Thundercock is probably... Probably close to uh, Bruno Chad. Yeah, exactly. Like Chad just seems to be the the man name, like the the masculine, the machismo. What do you think will happen if the eight John Does are revealed in the Mac in the Gisley Maxwell case? Um, if the elite have their way, nothing. Better question. Do you think her suicide will be bullet to the back of the head or the camp? Yeah. See, that's what I was gonna be like. Um. I don't, I really don't even want to answer that because I know this is like wish fulfillment, basically. It's not really a question that you can answer. It's more like, what do you, what, what, I mean, you can't answer it. Let's, let's be real here. Um, but obviously if people are doing a bunch of sex trafficking of children, you want them and everyone that participated in it to go to jail for a long time and reveal everyone else that was participating and covering it up. But, um... That would require a lot of people to act with integrity and principle and for a justice system to work right, and that's pretty unlikely in my opinion. If you could get if you could be God for a day, what would you do? Yeah, that's pretty true. Uh I feel like it's a non-answer for me to say this, but I was going to say extend my time as a god, but... So humans are incapable of harming reptiles? That's very specific, rattlesnake. <laughs> I'm on to you, snake people! <laughs> Make the day not in? Exactly. See, it becomes about... Uh, let's say, if not limited, extend the time period... So I can remain a god. Oh, let's leave lowercase g. We don't want to give any people some ideas here. If not limited, extend the time period so I can remain a god. If limited, I would use my omnipotence and omniscience. Oh, of course I would misspell that in omnipotence omni um, omniscience omniscience okay that makes sense omnipotence and omniscience to create a device that gives me god like powers post this time period if I am more like a Greek god, then I'd, uh, oh, give myself a special trinket that gives me permanent powers after that period as long as I carried it. That seems pretty good. That way we have a couple contingencies. There's something that they can work off of. Who do you pick in Mario Kart? Yoshi. Every time. Yoshi 100%. Yoshi. Done. <laughs> Then I would prob- oh, no, you would make the day not end, and then I would probably use the shenanigans to plant groves of trees in such ways that they grow into fully livable houses in the middle of the woods. That's pretty cool. Like, elves, basically? Because that's like Tolkien-esque elves. Oh, I skipped a couple things here. What name would you give to the disease? Um... I, I think that really depends on what the disease does. I'm gonna say no to that. 
you could have like limited it down to like a respiratory disease or like antibody disease. You're presented with two pills. One makes you blind, one makes you deaf. You have to pick one. Which one do you choose? Deaf. Yeah, I have to say deaf. Deaf. It would absolutely blow to not be able to hear music, people's voices, etc. because it's so wonderful. But I feel like the same can be said of sight to a greater degree. We're just being honest here. It, Yoshi for the win? Absolutely. Alright, well, that was one one wall of questions. Let's refresh here. Boop, boop. Serious, people have turned down a marriage proposal. Can't answer that. What is the current job of going on in your workplace? Can't answer that. What's the most clever thing you ever remember doing? Ooh. Ooh. Clever thing I remember doing. That's a tough one. Look, there's a comment here that's not shown. That's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. I feel like it would have been something in programming. Because there was a time where... Um, one time I was programming a grapple hook into a 2D game. I needed to make the sprite for the rope go from the character to the hook point. Uh, the engine I was working with didn't allow for rotation of sprites from the center of the picture. It only rotated from the top left corner. Zero, zero. So I had to write an algorithm. Oh, I can never spell that word. Algorithm to pan and rotate the sprite to make the pieces of rope line up and also crop the rope sprite closest to the hook to make it end properly as well. It felt really good when I finished and it worked. I don't know if that's the most clever thing I've ever done, but it definitely felt good to do that because you you might not imagine at first how difficult that could be, but let's let's say paint. Let's uh, get a box here and we're gonna have a rope go like this. This is your rope sprite. Now when you're rotating it, oh, maybe paint's not a good idea. Maybe I should have done this in, in GIMP because it only goes in 90 degrees. But whenever you need to rotate this, like you're going to end up with rope pieces like this, but it's all rotating from this point. So if you look at this, if we have this here and we rotate this 45 degrees, we're going to have, oh, yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of that. We're going to have a box like here. We'll make this. So here's like 45 degrees. Let's get, get rid of that. There we go. This may be over explaining, but I really want to show why it was clever and why I liked it. So there's that. Here we go. 
Here we go. This is like 45 degrees. That is a rectangle, not a square. Oh God, oh God, it's all falling apart. Okay, this is, this is more square-like, so work with me here. This hopefully illustrates the problem. So now, this point is exactly the same, but we've rotated it 45 degrees. So you'll notice this starting point is way over here now and the end point's here. Even though it's like at the right angle, it's now off because it had to pan. So I had to come up with this little algorithm that goes, okay, however much it's turned, you also need to back it up like this far on the X, Y coordinate to try to get it to line up. And that was a pain because look right now, even at 45 degrees, it lines up perfectly with the X. But if you get all the way up to like 90 degrees up here, uh, it'll be something like this. The rope will be here. So then you have to move it back on the X and then down on the Y so it lines up. And uh, man, that's that took a lot of work to get it to look right at every angle from every direction. It was a little bit of a pain. What did you say? On a field trip, my two best friends, girls, were fighting over who got to hold my hand whole while walking through the apple orchard. I just turned to them and said, girls, I have two hands. And I've never been that smooth since. <laughs> you, you see, the pervert in me would say, girls, I also have a penis. <laughs> you can also put your hands in my pockets. But let's not do that. That would probably be a good way to not have two friends. <laughs> two hands is fine. Two hands is fine. Hey, but you know what? If you had a prehensile tail, you could hold tails. See? That comes through nice. That's neat and rough. Well, thank you. It was, it was quite an explanation. Oh, you were five? Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> abort! Abort! <laughs> What is an opinion that you will always stand on? Uh, uh, braless breasts are always better than bra bound breasts. That's pretty nice. What opinion would I always stand by? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I did miss that. I just saw Yoshi and I was a player in kindergarten and thought that was relating to Mario Kart saying that you've been playing Yoshi for so long. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, you definitely preempted that in a way I missed and uh, oof, oof. That's a big oof there. I don't know what opinion I would always stand on because I'm, I'm willing to admit that a opinions can be bad and that I can change them um uh but I think something a little more esoteric should be it's better to act on principle than uh, yeah, I really don't know what to say because I feel like anything can be good. Dogs are good. You know what? That works for me. Dogs are good. Agreed. Agreed? Red pill. <laughs> What's your favorite comfort food? Barbecue ribs. Easy. What did that cousin do that let you know to never hang around them again? Don't know. What do you hate? Low effort posts. <laughs> we'll upvote that. Oh, I should go back and upvote these. We'll do that. And the most clever thing I thought of one, sure.